Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mario Party Star Rush playthrough. We are getting ready for a momentous occasion here, folks. So we are heading to the last world of Toad Scramble. Um, obviously, like, this is going to be only the first level. But next weekend, we'll have the final two levels. So we're about done with this mode. The main staple of uh, Mario Party Star Rush, as it's uh, normally referred to as. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, and I am going to be scanning an amiibo here. Um, not because, like, to make... I mean, it is technically to make things a little easier for me, because we do have uh, a bit of a change we're going to be making that I said we would be making, so I want to make sure that we are prepared for that. Uh, let me just uh, very quickly pick an amiibo. Um, oh, okay, I was like, wait, where the hell's Mario? <laughs> I'm going to pick Mario. And the change we are going to be making is we're actually going to be making the change from very hard down to normal mo- no, we're going to go master. Ugh. Hopefully this doesn't screw me over too much. <laughs> Also, hey, look, World 3, fully uh, super star rushed. And we actually have a star rush in every single level now, too, which is nice. Uh, World 0, I'm pretty sure you just can't do it. Also, from what I've been hearing from people, and I definitely kind of agree, apparently World 1-1 one, one is, like, near impossible to get a super star rush, uh, just because there's not a lot of coins you can get, and you're opponents like go straight for the boss squares every single time so you quite literally need to find a way to like manipulate it so you win somehow but this is not about world one world two or even world three this is about world four we are entering the bowser zone that magma's too hot to handle watch yourself will do um i guess toad's talking to us i have no idea <laughs> but yeah we're gonna be uh Starting with an ally, mainly just because, you know, the AI is going to be very difficult in this mode. It's likely we will not win any mini games. I at least want to make sure I get a good start. <laughs> That's all I want. I just want a good start. And, you know, with an ally and with, like, you know, a double dice block, I feel like I can get a good start. So that's kind of my compromise. I was only going to use Amiibos for the first, or for only World 3, but you know, just to make things a little more reasonable for me, I think it's fair that we use an Amiibo for this, just to get a good start. Because, you know, if you get like a bad dice block and the opponents make it all the way to like you know, the boss or even, like, the allies first. There's, like, literally nothing you can do. Uh, let me see if there's a way I can... Thing is, Toad only, Blue Toad only got a 2, so he's not going to be able to get very much at all, if anything. So I can probably do this without any... Contestments or something. Okay, so we got a dash mushroom. That's pretty good. Hey, Toadettes. Hey, I saw Yoshi too. Who else is here? I want you. <laughs> because you are a good ally. Do I dare... I don't know. I'll do it, just to see what we get. I mean, we have an ally. I do really want that Daisy. But it is Monty Mole, so I do kind of want to finish close to where we're supposed to be here. Yeah, so this is, I think this is a good move. We get Yoshi, we have another ally. I think Yoshi's a pretty solid character, too. We even get a golden mushroom. A golden dash mushroom. And no one picked up Daisy! 
I find that really strange. I don't hate that, but I do find it strange. Okay, I'm going to pick Yoshi. So here's where this board becomes kind of scary, is that uh, there is magma, and you do not want to touch magma. So I believe you just do not want to be on like the lowest squares before the magma strikes. So I can get Daisy if I do that, but I'm... Um... Yeah, let's just do this. I'll get some coins, land on this, and we'll work on getting Daisy next turn, because I mean we have allies, so we'll be rolling better than everyone else anyway. And I believe we're the only ones with allies, so we're going to have a pretty distinct advantage in this game as it is. Oh god, yellow already caught up. Man, yellow did catch up. Holy crap. Oh crap, no. Ugh. How does yellow know where it... <sighs> Seriously, he was always there before I was. There's no way I could catch up with him. I had a good start, too. It's just... Ugh. See, this is why I don't like playing on the highest difficulty. It's just like, they know too much. <laughs> they know way too much. Also, Daisy just died, by the way. Daisy just got melted in magma. Which kind of sucks. I really wanted her, but... I don't know, maybe she's magma. She could be magma-proof. I kind of doubt it, but it can happen. Okay, well... I guess we're just gonna roll, see what happens. Yeah, we see we just can't. I don't want a coin NATO. I don't want to lose an ally to blue. So mad. <laughs> of course he takes Yoshi. Uh, oh, but they don't even have an ally. Ain't that cute. Uh, okay, well Daisy's still there at least. And we have other allies too. Please get a seven. And of course, green rolls a. S Doesn't matter. They're gonna go get. They're gonna get both of the princesses. I'm gonna probably be stuck with one of these two. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. I ain't doing that. They didn't go for Daisy. What is wrong with them? 
just seems like the perfect thing to do. Also, I guess I was using Toad, not Mario there, which is probably not wise. Okay, so I need to get out of there now. Okay, six. Sucks I don't have Yoshi anymore, but we'll make it work. Toadette's pretty good, though, so we can just get Toadette. Of course, everyone's already there. That's not even my coin, Nato. Uh, starting at kind of a disadvantage, though. That's the only thing. God, what is yellow on? Yellow is doing something to like I think I'm still gonna get a star though. Star I'm gonna have to share it with yellow, which I'm not happy about, but I think I'm technically still beating them though, because of my coins. Because I have basically enough coins to get two stars. I don't think he does. So if anything, we're probably like tied in like amounts right now. And that's kind of annoying because I want Toadette, but at the same time they're going to get a huge push towards that boss and they're going to go right like right for it too. Let me guess, you're gonna get Toadette. Or Daisy, you know. That ally I really wanted, but I guess you get it now. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I get a zero. Perfect. Thank you, game, for nothing, pretty much. Um, I don't think they can get to... Yeah, they can't get there anyway, so... Okay. At least I get another ally. Um, yeah, gonna use you definitely. Wish I could like jump down from here, honestly. You know what? I'm gonna slow you down just so you have, like, no chance to win. Okay, I'm gonna analyze this carefully, because... Okay, I can't jump down from there, though. Guess I'll just go there. Like, that's all I can really do. Wow, look at everyone's on this square. <laughs> okay, so... I definitely gotta win. If I don't, though... I should be able to get a second place and get enough coins to beat, uh... 
yellow, and yellow's not going to get a good start. Like, yellow's not going to start in the first round, so. And I have a lot of allies. I mean, everyone else has a lot of allies, too. Oh, what? Oh my god, at least we got something. Okay, yeah, we got stuff. I need some big bombs. You. Oh my god, Mario saved me there. Ooh. Okay, that's good. So, me and Blue are going to get two stars, but I think that's good enough to win this. Ugh. I did not like this board. <laughs> I did not like Master Difficulty, because again, it's just like perfect AI. They know exactly what to do, and... I know that's weird because, like, I play on hard difficulty in Mario Party 1 with no issue whatsoever, but the, which is the hardest difficulty. It's just they make it better in other games. <laughs> um. Wow, really? Those two? Yeah, I guess I did land on it twice now that I think about it. Uh, that's not me. I don't think. Man, Blue. Blue could actually make a bit of a comeback here if he gets all of these. I got a lot of items, but... Okay, yeah. Okay, I think I won. Lucky ally is Daisy, because she didn't burn in lava. <laughs> the nose, Peach. So, Yellow didn't get any bonuses, which is great. Um... Yeah, I won this because I was the only one that had three stars and I had the most coins, so... Yeah, we got it. This was a really hard-fought victory, though, and... You know, it's not really a victory I'm proud of because I just did not do as much damage as I wanted to. I also just hated sharing, like, victories with characters in the boss battles. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. <laughs> And hey, I got a Star Rush, I suppose. That was tough, though. That was really, really hard. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to think. Um, if I didn't get any of the bonuses, I still would have won. Actually, it would have been interesting. If I, if I didn't get item bonus, and if Blue got it, I don't think I would have won. Wait. No, I, I think I would have. Because you gotta think about it. Like, that gave me five coins. So if I subtract that, I would have had five stars and five coins. If Blue got it instead, he would have gotten five more coins, which would have given him the fifth star, but I also would have just had the five coins left over. So I think I would have still won by coins alone, but... Still, it would have been much closer if I didn't get that item bonus. Freaking lucky ally. Yeah, if, to if Blue Toad got the lucky ally, that would have made it very interesting. But alas, uh, that's going to be it. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Next weekend, we continue the master train of Doom with uh, the rest of World 4, the final world of the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Later, folks.